StellaIdeas.com Painting with a Purpose This is part of a series of videos of the painting exhibition called Hope From Robe to Riches. This exhibition tells the story of the journey of Mei Ling, a 19 year old Chinese woman who travelled from southern China to the goldfields of Victoria in Australia in 1857. Luke best liked Mei Ling. She was tough and clever and she never seemed to panic. Three days in a row they'd been chased by bandits. They'd escaped, but Luke felt it was only a matter of time before their luck ran out. He knew a friendly farmer on the Glenelg River who'd let them camp safely on his property, but that was two days away and they were running out of food. He decided to take Ping with him to catch a sheep to cook. Why not? The th settlers thought they were doing it anyway. One man shot a gun at them because he saw them near his flock. Mei Ling built a cook fire and searched through their gear for the last of their vegetables and some yummy tasting Chinese spices. But the sheep was not too keen to be caught. They spent an hour chasing it around the paddock. It finally collapsed and looked terrified. Luke didn't have the heart to kill it neither did Ping. When they got back to camp and told Mei Ling she laughed. He asked her how she was going to cook it anyway. She didn't speak English very well but she showed him that she was going to pluck it like a chicken and boil it. Luke thought this was hilarious and he was very glad they weren't having sheep for dinner after all. As usual they found a stand of low-hanging trees and crawled underneath to sleep. When they woke up the donkey was gone Somehow it had chewed through its rope. Fortunately they still had their packs with their clothes but Mei Ling couldn't carry anything with her broken shoulder and now they were going to be crossing the most treacherous stretch of all. Everyone knew this area was the worst for robbers. Mei Ling and Ping could read signs carved in trees by the Chinese miners calling this Death Valley. And so they decided to disguise Mei Ling and make a run for it. They dressed her in Ping's clothes, shaved her head except for a pigtail and tied bandages around her chest so she looked like a boy. From that day on they called her Ming and she became invisible.